Well, let's take a breath now and get some perspective on all of this from Marcus Mabry. He is international business editor with our world focus partner, the New York Times here in New York. Mr. Mabry, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Well, as we've seen now um, from that last story, there was no part of the world, even the Middle East, with all its oil that has been unaffected by this credit crisis. Absolutely. This is a global market meltdown that we're seeing here. It started in Asia with really bad markets uh, closing lower uh, 4 or 5% um, on Monday. And then it rolled across the world uh, to Europe with the closing markets closing even lower, almost double digits in some countries. And then finally in the U.S., although we were down as much as 8% at one point, we closed, the Dow Jones closed below 10,000, below the 10,000 mark for the first time since October 2004. Now, on Tuesday, the European Union finance ministers are going to gather together um, what do you think they're going to be talking about? What specifically? You know, specifically what they're trying to do is come up with a coordinated European plan here. Uh, we've seen right now countries acting to save their own banks. And it really has been, rather than a European Union, which is what 27 nations over there have, what we've seen is every country for him or herself. And so it's been rather dramatic that we've seen Germany shorting up its banks, guaranteeing all its bank deposits. We've seen Ireland do that first last week. Uh, we've now seen Austria and Denmark follow suit. Every country right now is acting very piecemeal, trying to save its own banks. That's not the way for Europe to actually get behind this thing and to restore credit and its faith in its credit markets. That's what the European ministers are going to try to do, is have a concerted, united effort to take this on together. They're trying to come up with their own version of the bailout plan, so to speak. Some of them are. Some, some countries would like to see that. Other countries like Britain are fighting against that. Even the Germans, the largest economy in Europe uh, and place that actually is very much exposed to what started off, of course, as a meltdown in subprime and poor market mortgage debt in the United States. Even Germany is saying, we really don't want a pan-European plan because a pan-European plan would mean someone else would control German money, and we want to control German money. Very quickly, uh, Dow closes down below the 10,000 mark. That's going to have an impact on markets elsewhere tomorrow. Uh, the, you know, it's a very uh, portentous omen. It would suggest that we're going to see another down day across the world tomorrow. Marcus Mabry with the New York Times. Thank you very much. Thank you.